Morning everyone. Uh, we will not be cutting any grass today. I'm going to pick up the trailer right now. It's a little late. It's uh, 10 30 right now. The rain just let up a little bit. It's uh, we're supposed to get uh, it's, it's wet out. It's been raining pretty much all night and we're supposed to get two inches of rain today. So no grass is going to get cut. There's just no way. Not with that amount of rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the trailer, take it home, and bring the mowers into the garage there and change the oil, change the blades, and I'm going to do a review on that new Skag that I bought and let you know what I've done to it and uh, the problems I've been having with it. So the way everybody knows, uh, you know, it's a good mower, but it's got problems. Just I'm pretty sure every brand has got problems, so there's nothing you can do about it. It's, if it's got moving parts, it's going to break. I don't care what brand you buy. So I'm going to go grab the trailer here, and uh, we'll see you here in a bit. Okay, I got them home, and I'm trying to move along as fast as possible because the rain is coming. It's starting to come down harder now. Yep, messy garage again. Okay, I've been uh, in the garage here for about a half hour. I'm changing the oil in these mowers. Uh, you see me change them before, but uh, it's been raining. It started raining probably 10 minutes after I brought the mowers in there, and it's been coming down at a steady, not real super heavy pace, but kind of a heavy pace. So I'm hoping I can get these mowers loaded up without uh, getting everything any more rain later on today when I get these done. So. Yeah, it was a good decision just to bring everything in and start doing maintenance on it because it looks like it's going to be this way for two more days and then one more day or then we'll have one day of no rain and then it's supposed to rain again for three more days so it's going to be uh, a slow slim pickings on the cutting the grass this week so we're going to go out Thursday probably and get the ones that we have to get done you know there's a couple businesses that have to be done and a couple yards that uh, if we do not get to them this week it will be overgrown next week. So what I do is I put this deck all the way down and then I have to take the bag off or the bagger assist off. This I never tighten down. I tighten it down just enough before it doesn't fall off because I take this thing on and off so much that it's just faster for me to do it that way. So as far as taking this off, it's pretty simple. Pull a pin, which I was set here. You can see it, yep. And I just push here, pull the belt off, pull the pin out, I set the belt on it. I always put the pin back in. And the hairpin back in. That way I never have to worry about it. Then I have a set of chain falls that I have hooked to my ceiling. I just put a D-ring up there, screw that's it. Uh, that is uh, attached with lag bolts right into a truss. And there's also, whoops, there's also a pipe that runs across that holds everything together. So it works out pretty good. So, and this is what I do. What I do before I pick this up, this is a, this is a 15 16 inch socket to take the nut off. The nuts off the spindles. And I just pick it up in there.
every time I always find where'd you go? Every time I always find this. Yeah, every single time. So always make sure that is off. And this is all it is. It's a bolt. There is a, a bolt, washer, blade, spacer, and then you shove it up through the spindle. The problem I have with the center one is because of the weights out front. I can't reach across it when I put the blade up. So I just pull that up over there and since that's just why I put the deck down. I can reach up over the deck put the nut on. When the deck is all the way up I can't do that. And again, more string. I don't, I don't know where I pick it up, but I always pick it up. Let's pick that up. Okay, and then from there I just drop this down. take this off so I don't have to walk around the trains. And then I just tighten them off. So what we have on this on these mowers and I'm not sure how many brands are I've had two different brands two different same same basic setup but this right here this this right here packs full of grass and leaves and everything else you're constantly taking it off to clean out well after about the third time or fourth time that stripped off so what I did is I just uh, eliminated the cover Okay, and another thing I had to change. Oh, sorry about the squeaky chair. There's a there's a guard that covers from here over all this. Well, after about two weeks of taking it on and off, the bolts got lost. So I didn't tighten them down. I was probably in a hurry, as I'm always in a hurry, and they just kind of vibrated off and fell off. So I don't use that shield anymore. So now these are both open. I know it's safety first, but it comes to the point where it's a hindrance, not a helpful thing. And if I fall into if I fall into this pulley, I have bigger problems going on than just that pulley. And it should it shuts off pretty fast anyhow, so I'll get a little bit of a burn or a scuff or whatever. But. And then uh, another problem I was having since we are in northeast Michigan we have heavy dew almost every single day and there was another shield that came with this mower okay so if you look at the shield where it ends up being it cuts off half of this well the other problem that happens with it being wet the grass hits here let's see can you see that yeah the grass hits here and it cakes up against there and then it drops off onto the ground. So as you're cutting grass it's leaving clumps through the whole yard. So I took that off. I noticed even with that because what it's supposed to do it hits right about in here and it directs the grass. It's supposed to direct the grass that way so it's easier for the 
fan to, or blower or whatever you want to call it to, to pull it up into the chute. Well, even with that deflecting there, grass collects here. And I was thinking about it, well, since I'm cutting off half of it and the grass is already deflecting, why not just take that off and this by itself will deflect it. So, and this is how much grass is there from it deflecting. So, I am not leaving a trail. It's not leaving clumps. And it seems to work out good. So that's why I did it that way. So that takes care of the blower assist on the bagging, which I am very happy with, what, with how it picks up. It does a very wonderful job. And it makes my life a lot easier by it picking up. But it just took probably about two months of trial and error just to get it the way I worked the way I wanted. So now it works pretty decent. It's still not 100% the way I'd want it to work, but it still works pretty decent. Now the other thing I had a problem with on this mower, let's see if I can do this here. Yep, I can do this. Second time I flipped the seat up, I set it up against there. As you can see, this hits all the time. But this broke off. Snapped right clean off right there. So I haven't replaced it yet, I just haven't had time. Or I, actually, I, it's not that I haven't had time, I just never remember. Um, last month, you can see all this right on here. Uh, I haven't cleaned this up yet because just, it's just now starting to get slow, so I'm going to start cleaning everything up. But this hydraulic line. And this hydraulic line coming up into there, into, I don't know if I can see this, yeah, somewhat. They both loosened up. They both loosened up and I just started smelling hydraulic oil and I couldn't figure out where it came from until I just happened to look down and seen the oil all pouring out everywhere. So it was no big deal, it was just two clamps and I tightened them up. But they should not have come loose so I don't think they were tight all the way from the factory. And then uh, at about 150 hours, this main deck belt here, you see that? Yeah, this main deck belt. It reaches, it goes through, comes through these pulleys, and then goes back to the clutch. At 150 hours, that deck belt broke. And also at 150 hours, this dry belt, uh, can you see that? You know, this dry belt here, which just runs this pump and this pump. It broke. So I put a new one on, 150 hours later, it went again. So right now we're at, let's see, wait for it to come on, 378.4 hours. So I have. So I went to the dealership, I have an extra one with me in the trailer at all times because I know what's going to happen if that belt decides it's going to go, which it has in the past, you know, two of them at 150 hours each. That puts me right in the middle of leaf season and I don't have time when it's leaf season to go, to go half hour, 45 minutes, whatever it takes to the dealership and get that belt. So I have that belt as an extra in my trailer. And looking at that deck belt, it looks like I'm going to have to get a spare on that because that looks like it's starting to get pretty rough too. So I will be getting an extra one of that because I cannot afford to be down that any t any length of time. 15 minutes is fine. Two hours is not. And that's what usually happens. It ends up being about a two hour de ordeal. So the other thing I had to deal with, I'm sure everybody has seen this rag on all my videos. Well, what it is, is that right there. And that is spread out from catching branches. Because you get in a hurry and you don't look up all the time and you catch a branch. Well, every time it catches a branch, it pulls it out and bends it up. So today, before I leave, I am going to try to put this back to where it is. The other problem I'm having with this is to get this back out, it's a nightmare. So. I will pull it out. I haven't 
clean I have not cleaned this um, screen in a week so we'll pull this out and see what it looks like okay let's see if I can get this straightened up without breaking something so a little tougher here The other problem I have is putting this back in is a nightmare because you can't see nothing. This one, the track is down. So I start on this one. And then that track. And that one. And that's still going to hit me. See if that'll do any good. What happens is all when I start picking up, everything comes out of here, hits me in the head. So I'm just gonna. Keep shoving a rag in here. Actually, so that's fairly tight. Maybe it might work. Well, I'll try it without it. See what happens. So other than that, it's a it's a it's a decent machine. It does really well for me. It's just that it's got some problems that I guess I shouldn't have to be dealing with problems that I am, but um As far as this is concerned, you would have thought they would have had a little bit different there because this just keeps this keeps catching branches and just keeps pulling on it, ripping it apart and everything else. So I don't know if they could have done anything different with it or not, but as you can see all the scratches on there, it's hitting branches all the time. And the worst ones are apple trees. And branches work are horrible on these. I'm going to put the bagger back on like I normally do. Moore also has a Kawasaki FX 691V. It's a 22 horsepower engine. Okay. It does a pretty, pretty decent job of powering this mower with the bagging system on it. Uh, the only problem I do have with it, and it seems to be a little underpowered, is if I'm climbing a hill while I'm bagging. Um, I know you're not supposed to be climbing steep hills and all this stuff with the, you know, they don't recommend you doing any of it, but anybody that cuts commercially, they're always climbing them hills and they're doing what they're not supposed to be doing with these machines. It just, it's inevitable just because you want to save time and you're trying to get through them. And especially if you're having a day like today where it's raining or the rain is coming in the afternoon, you got to hurry up and get as many yards done as you possibly can before the rain so it doesn't put you too far behind. So, um, all in all, it, it is a good machine. I have problems with it. 
and I don't think there's a brand out there that you're not going to have problems with. I don't care. It may not be this year, but it'll be next year. It's always that way. It doesn't matter. This is my fifth zero turn, I think it is, or sixth zero turn. Three different brands, and they all have had problems. So the reason why I'm sticking with the Skag is just because the dealership's close enough to me where it's not that big of a deal. There is a dealership closer to me, but um, I'm just not uh, happy with, uh, I don't know, I don't want to be rude to anybody. I'm just not happy when I go in there. They're always, they're always trying to sell me something that I don't need or want. So I just don't like the high pressure sales and I don't like dealing with that. So I go in there, I get what I want and I tell them exactly what I want and they're always trying to tell me something else that I need and I don't want that. So um, when I go into a dealership, I tell them what I want. They tell me this is what, it is, this is what your choice is and we leave it at that. Don't try to sell me all this other stuff. And the dealership I deal with knows the weed whackers I use, knows the blowers I use, and they know I'm not going to change brands just because I like what I like. So um, that's why I stick with that dealership. And very rarely do they not have the parts that I need. You know, if of course I shouldn't say that because the parts that I need are always the oddball things that never go wrong, and that's the ones that's the parts I always need. But they usually have it there within a day, so it's not a big deal. So. That is my review on this 52-inch uh, cut Skag Tiger Cat. I bought it. I bought it in the spring. It was a leftover from last year, so it's a 2016. I have 378 hours on it, and you know, now you know every problem I've had and everything I like and dislike about it. I'm sure I'm missing some things, but uh, this is all I can remember at this time. So uh, that is going to be the end of my video for today. So everybody have a good evening and we will see you at the next yard.